What's up everybody? It's me, Brandon. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me today for another skincare vlog. So I'm really excited because I have a new favorite sunscreen that I have reviewed on this channel in the past and in especially in my like Korean sunscreen vlogs and hauls. But this sunscreen is fantastic. It is a Korean sunscreen and it is a chemical sunscreen, just putting it out there. But I'm super excited about this because of the way it looks on my skin. It is incredible. It looks invisible. It has four chemical filters, UVA plus, I think, even all T150, and two other filters that I can't pronounce right now. <laughs> High UVA protection that I love. Fantastic, fantastic other ingredients, active ingredients and extracts, botanical extracts that have immense promise and potential in anti-aging, photo protection, in addition to the chemical filters, just amazing, incredible product. And the sunscreen I'm talking about is the Beauty of Joseon sunscreen, the 50 milliliter bottle, tiny, tiny bottle. Bottle, but it packs a really powerful punch. It truly is like non-greasy. It's extremely moisturizing, but it's non-greasy and it kind of goes down a little bit matte. It's not super shiny, which I have been looking for. I used to be into like really shiny, like the shiny wet look, but recently I've sort of evolved to wanting a more mattified look without being drying. There's some like Japanese sunscreens and Korean sunscreens that have alcohols and the formulation that dries up my skin and I can't tolerate it. Like the, I think like the UV Clear Biore, is that right? But this one is, it dries down sufficiently without being super drying. Cause it doesn't have any alcohol. It doesn't have any drying alcohols. It might have like a acetyl alcohol or fatty alcohol that is really emollient, but no drying alcohols. It doesn't dry up my skin, keeps it nice and fresh and moist and looking fantastic. Provides a little bit of a glow, but is not casty at all. It does not impart a white cast on me. And again, super high UVA protection. I freaking love this sunscreen so much. This is non-sponsored by the way. It's just me trying to relay my excitement. I love it so much that I actually bought two more bottles on Amazon and you can get it on Amazon. So if you're in the US and you wanna try it out, uh, I have some affiliate links down below, but you can definitely get it pretty easily in here in the US, even though it's a Korean sunscreen and it has filters that aren't necessarily approved in the United States. Like US filters in particular in sunscreen, like avabenzone, octanoxate, octocrylin, oh my gosh, almost Sally. If I put those around my eyes, I am crying for the next six hours. Like my eyes are super red. I have a bunch of, you know, tears coming down. It, it's awful, I can't go in public like that. With these Korean sunscreens, the beauty of Joseon, for instance, I put it around my eyes and it goes on and I don't feel it. I put it on my I can put it on my eyelids and I don't feel it. Like it does not burn my eyes at all. There's also some other fantastic ingredients in this sunscreen. Again, this is non-sponsored. It sounds like I'm trying to sell this sunscreen. Really I'm not. I just, you know, again, I'm really excited about this because I've grown to love it. I've actually had this product for quite a while, but I just sort of went off the bandwagon for for some reason. I think I must have lost it or something. I don't know. And I was using other things. I was using like the Purito daily to go to sunscreen, which I do like, but it tends to be on the greasy side. This beauty of Joseon, again, isn't greasy. It isn't drying though. So it's like a perfect balance. It's just amazing, amazing formulation. I just wish that it came in a smaller bottle. All right, so here is the bottle. Like I said, it comes in a 50 milliliter bottle. So it's pretty small. You get not that much product. Although this bottle has kind of been lasting me for a while, even though I did take a break, you get quite a bit out of the 50 milliliters. I use like maybe a fourth of a teaspoon for my face and then a fourth of a teaspoon for my neck and it's still pumping, pumping lotion out. So it is like a watery lotion sunscreen. I will apply some on my face so you can see it in a minute, but I just wanted to do like a brief overview of the ingredients. So like I said, it has four different chemical filters. It has Uvenol A plus for high levels of UVA absorption and protection. UVA is the aging rays and then Uvenol T150 for UVB, the burning rays, both of which actually contribute to the aging process. It's not just UVA, but UV UVB definitely contributes to burning and scaling and, and all, all that jazz, DNA mutation. It also has bisocitrizol. Am I saying that correctly? That's for UVB and UVA, as well as iscotrizinol or iscotrizinol, and that's UVA, UVB, and some UVA. So, so broad spectrum has four different chemical filters to get, ensure that you're getting good full coverage UVA, UVB protection. It also has rice extract. So if you look at the label, it says relief sun rice 
plus probiotic. So it touts the, this rice extract, which is I think 30% is what it says on the box, 30% 30, 30 concentration of rice extract. And I actually, I'm really excited about rice extract all of a sudden for some reason, just because I did look at some studies in the medical literature, both in vitro as well as in, in vivo. So like in vitro is like just testing ingredients on cells in a dish. But there is some good evidence to suggest that rice extract and the, the components of rice extract, not only the polyphenols and the antioxidants, but other aspects such as the rice protein hyd hydrolysates, as well as different compounds, I think termed momolactones, AB, as well as tricin, have shown promising and significant anti-aging skin effects. So rice extract has been shown to inhibit elastase activity as well as hyaluronidase activity. Hyaluronidase is an enzyme that breaks down uh, hy hydrolonic acid in the body. So you're, you know hydrolonic acid, it's you know that humectant, but our body also produces it over time though it degrades. So it keeps our skin moist and supple and hydrated, but over time it degrades. And that enzyme is definitely responsible for that, that breakdown of hyaluronic acid. And so there's evidence to suggest that in addition to just improving overall hydration, it helps to retain the hy hyaluronic acid in your skin. Not only that, the anti-elastase activity in rice extract has been shown to just really protect the elastase in your skin um, or the elastin in your skin. Elastase is the enzyme that, that breaks it down. That's really important because the sun over, and over time, just the elastase declines, col collagen or elastin declines, collagen declines. And so that's what leads to, you know, those, those visible signs. But anyway, what's really exciting is that the topical application of the rice extract may help to protect elastin in the skin. Um, and as, as well as have some photoprotective effects for the skin as well, just having a little extra protection and just in addition to those filters, some research in, in vitro research, mind, mind you, also suggests that rice extract has anti-tyranase activity and may help with skin brightening and whitening effects as well as combating the effects of freckles. So there's good evidence to suggest, at least in my opinion, that rice extract shows promise in reducing those markers of aging in the skin. So I think that it's a really cool ingredient to have in a sunscreen like this. That I, I, I think I'm gonna definitely start to try and seek out more sunscreens, lotions, things like that that have rice extract in it because I think it's a really cool ingredient that definitely has shown promise. I would love to see more studies on topical application of rice extract and formulations that have rice extract in it. I think that is really, really cool, really cool research out there. But in addition to rice extract, it also has niacinamide. Niacinamide is a B vitamin, B3, that may help reduce fine lines, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, just really brings more brightening to the skin and reduces redness. And so that's always very nice to have, especially if you are prone to redness. I think if you can handle niacinamide okay, having a sunscreen that has niacinamide in it and a moisturizer at night is definitely something to just incorporate because I think it, it can help bring down redness. And it also has that anti-aging effect, which is nice. It also has green tea extract. Green tea extract, Camellia sinensis extract can be helpful for inhibiting those matrix metalloproteinases, those MMPs that have play a role in degrading collagen. And again, it definitely touts ferment, that probiotic ferment in here. So it has probiotics in here, which may have extra anti or photo protection. So it may protect against UV damage to a certain extent. And like I said, it's not drying. So it has a, an emollient alcohol. I think it's called the Hinol alcohol. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that's a, basically an emollient alcohol that's really, really hydrating. But again, like I said, it is not a super drying sunscreen, but it's also not a super wet or slick feeling sunscreen. Like I have it on my skin right now, totally fine. Like I look, I don't look greasy. I don't look super shiny. I think it looks amazing. So let me see if I can find some good lighting here. So you can definitely see like if I get under this light, my skin looks like hydrated, I suppose, but it doesn't look greasy, right? It doesn't look super shiny or like really offensively wet. You know what I mean? Like let me see if I can get in this lighting. Does that look better? Okay, now you can kind of see the shine. All right, trust me when I say that in normal conditions, most people probably won't experience this. I also have, just to be fair, I also have a moisturizer under this that I just put on. So it's not super fair to have a good comparison right here. What I will do, I will apply it to a dry face tomorrow. I'll re-vlog so you can see that. Hi, okay, so it is the next morning and it's time to apply my sunscreen. I thought I would just apply it to a naked face so you can see if there's any sort of cast on my fair skin tones. Have my coffee in hand. Sometimes in the morning I will actually bring my coffee in the bathroom and <laughs> do my my skincare and hair care. It gives me the confidence I need to tackle another day. And it also just gives me motivation to do what needs to be done. Okay, so I, in the morning, I use like a quarter of a teaspoon measure for 
my sunscreen. I know the American Academy of Dermatology recommends for your entire face, you need to, actually for your body, basically, um, for sunscreen, you need two milligrams per centimeter squared. Is that what it is? How do you even measure that? I know that the sort of rule of thumb is to use a third to a fourth of a teaspoon for of sunscreen for your entire face, also for your neck, and then just like a shot glass worth of sunscreen what is that an ounce for your entire body so i just worry about in the morning my because i'm not going outside or anything i just worry about my face and my neck and my ears you know just getting my whole upper body moist and slippery with uv protection obviously and if i reapply during the day i just i don't really i typically don't worry about doing another quarter quarter of a teaspoon i just do i just reapply and maybe do like the three finger method but anyway here we go I have a quarter, quarter of a teaspoon. I'm not doing my forehead right now because I don't... My my sleep mask that I usually pull my hair up with is in the laundry, so I can't do that. But I'm going to go ahead and dot it over my all over my face. I feel like just the dot method, I get like more even coverage everywhere. So I slept good. <laughs> it's currently cloudy outside. The chance of rain. So I'm looking forward to, I really hope it rains. I love rainy weather so much. Like I can't imagine living in sort of like a desert environment, especially for like skin, like, oh my gosh, because my skin and my eyes get super dry. And I'm doing this in the viewfinder by the way. So it, it, I'm probably doing like a messy job of dotting everywhere. But I'm just worried about getting my face right now. Anyway, what was I saying desert yeah i couldn't imagine living there because it would dry out my skin to a and my eyes to like a significant degree i love humid environments like i used to live in houston texas houston surprisingly is the third most humid state in the country in the united states after i think like jacksonville florida and new orleans maybe super super humid I, I remember when i first moved to houston it would seem like it rained all the time i moved like oh gosh in january maybe january of some year. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and so it's super white right now, but when you rub it in, it does dissipate. I mean that first application, let me see if I can get my I forgot to put any on my eyelids. The first application, it definitely seems white, obviously. I mean pretty much every sunscreen's gonna be like that. If I apply, do you see why I'm doing this to my eyelids? I'm actually applying some around my eyes on my eyelids. It doesn't burn at all. I feel like an American sunscreen with apibenzone. Like I mentioned earlier, it's, it's just gonna be like super irritating for my eyes. I would not be able to function. But this, I can just like put it all around my eyes and it's perfect. It, like I said, it's a lotion-y, facial lotion type feel. It's not super thick, it's not super greasy. It melts in super quickly, which I appreciate. And the white cast is minimal. I, I'm sure if I play this back <laughs> on my computer, I'm gonna it's gonna be super streaky because I'm doing this in the viewfinder right now. I'm gonna look in the mirror real quick and then I will come back after I've sort of sufficiently rubbed it through. Okay, so this is just maybe 30 seconds after I've rubbed it all the way through. I'm going to do, I'm gonna let it dry down for about 15 minutes. I will come back and I will show you what it looks like after it's dried down sufficiently and just kind of tell you, you know, how it, how it feels. Right now it does feel a little on the moist side, but not super sticky or tacky. Maybe a little, maybe a little tacky, but I think once it dries down after like 15 to 20 minutes, it'll be a little bit less a little bit less tacky and sticky, but it's not like significantly so. So I really appreciate that because like oftentimes whenever I have sunscreen on my face, it like my hair gets into it and it's just, it's not, it's not pretty. So I'm gonna let it dry down. I will be back and give you a fuller, more comprehensive review. <laughs> okay, so it's been about half an hour to 40 minutes maybe. And this is what it looks like now. So I'm not super casty. It's not significantly different from my naked skin you know prior like when i was waking up so i really like this i think that it goes on invisible and sort of dries down and oh yeah it's not tacky or sticky at all like it was when it first went on you know you kind of expect that at first but this dried down sufficiently okay here i am in just like indoor lighting so you can see not significantly casty yeah not significantly casty and not super super moist as you can see it looks like i don't know like i just have a very light moisturizer on i'm really liking this quite a bit let me see if i can go in just like natural lighting okay here's like natural lighting oh it's super bright but natural light looks great. Nature also looks mighty fine. Ooh, gorgeous. I wonder when the fall leaves are gonna come. All right, I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, so I purchased two more bottles on Amazon. The, what I found on Amazon, they come in a two pack and it's only like, 
I think $29.50 for two of them, which, what is that, like $15 roughly for each? I think that's a good deal, especially since they're small bottles. They can be used up pretty quickly if you use it every single day and if you reapply throughout the day. But I'm gonna leave an affiliate link down below so you can check it out. I think it, they also sell just single versions. It might be a little bit higher. The unit price might be a little higher than if you bought two, but just so you have some options, I do recommend this Beauty of Joseon. So pick it up when you get a chance.